People are impressed that monarch butterflies migrate so far. But it may turn out that these painted lady butterflies outdo them. In 2012, sophisticated radar was able to track these creatures that weigh only one thirtieth of an ounce, flying very high, 9,000 miles from Britain to Sub-Saharan Africa. For all we know, painted ladies in the Western Hemisphere might be performing similar feats. This particular painted lady lingered after all the others had departed for parts unknown. She thrust her proboscis efficiently into one bloom after another until the pollen accumulated on it like biscuit dough on your fingers and she had to clean it with her legs. Though she looks more like she's scratching an itchy nose with her knees. Animals that gather nectar have to be proficient at upside down as well as right side up. Seems to me that someone calling herself a painted lady ought to own at least one fur. She does. You can see the breeze riffling it. And you can see her fur from the front. Maybe you remember that line from an old Bogart Bacall picture, Was you ever bit by a dead bee? This butterfly almost was. The cool weather sapped this bumblebee's energy, and the painted lady, as it turns out, is not afraid of bees. Excuse me, I'm not that dead. Butterflies become inert when the temperature falls below 55 degrees, unable to flee predators or even eat. So this lady, by sticking around St. Louis until October 18th, was living dangerously. But there's a straggler in every crowd, and some folks just don't like to travel.